Hi, this is Custom Media Creations coming at you with another custom review. So today I'll be reviewing some custom lightsabers of my own. So here's Count Dooku's. We got it's accurate to the actual lightsaber model seen in the movies. So you can, as you can see, I've added black highlights, red highlights, gold highlights. I even added the spike for a lightsaber actually connects to the hilt. So like the blade, and I'm pretty happy with this one. This one's really good. Uh, I've got. You're actually meant to turn it the other way, but I realised that it's actually more accurate if you turn it this way, where the spike on the bottom is at, which should be at the top, should be facing the down. down. Here we have Darth Revan's lightsaber, or just Revan. This is his green one seen on the Legends book cover. So as you can see, got a golden rim at the top with black detailing at the bottom. It also has a red button, not on the gold part, but below it. So it's accurate to the lightsaber model. So I'm happy, really happy with this one. I think it looks fantastic. Moving on, we have Luke's lightsaber. So this is Return of the Jedi lightsaber based on that movie. So the green one. We've got a black rim just below the belt, the second one below. Red dot, and that, that's pretty much it for Luke's lightsaber. But I think it looks great. It looks really nice. I'm really happy with this one. Return of the Jedi is actually my favorite Star Wars movie, but there wasn't really too much I could do with this lightsaber but I think it came out really nice. Next up, we have Palpatine's lightsaber. So this is seen in Revenge of the Sith. We never saw it again, I don't think. So I've added a red and green button on the top. I'm not sure if that were gems or buttons, but I added those. It's got a gold rim bottom and a gold rim top where the actual edges meet on the other side where the buttons aren't. It actually thins out. So it's accurate to the actual lightsaber model. Next up, we have Kylo Ren's lightsaber. This one was really fun to make. I'm very happy with how this came out. I had to make the red wire, basically just using red Sharpie and then two little tiny dabs of silver Sharpie on it to make it look like it's connected. So it also has some gold weathering on it using a gold Sharpie. So it, it looks really nice. It looks like it's burnt out, just like the actual lightsaber model because it's unstable as we know. Uh, so that's basically it for Kylo Ren's lightsaber. It's, it wasn't too extensive. Next up, we have Yoda's lightsaber. This one was a lot of fun to make, so and it's quite detailed, accurate to the model. So what I did is I coloured the, the handle in black and then also the four bottom parts of the lightsaber piece. also took a chip out of the where the blade meets the hilt, so it's accurate to Yoda's lightsaber, and it's got the black rim around there, but not actually touching where the blade meets the hilt. All right, so that's, that's it for Yoda's lightsaber. Next up, we have... Plo Koon's lightsaber. Now this one was really easy. It wasn't... I basically just had to add a red button and a black button. So there's a red button with a black dot below it, or above it, sorry. And then on the other side, it's just a black dot. So, but still, looks really nice. Next up, we have probably the most interesting lightsaber. We got Mace Windu's. This one was a lot of fun to make. Like, I really enjoyed making this one overall. So it actually has... So it's got the gold rims and black detailing. Now, I'm going to show you something super cool in a second. So just going over the details, you know, black rims and stuff. So that looks really nice. So here we go. We're going to take it off the hilt, the stand, sorry. And on it, it says BMF, which, you know, you should know what that stands for. Samuel L. Jackson deliberately put that on the lightsaber. Uh, I don't swear, so I can't say what it actually means. But yeah, if you look it up, it's pretty funny. Uh, so... Yeah, purple blade, accurate model. What more could you ask for? All right. Next up, we have Darth Vader's lightsaber. This one was pretty nice to make, and I'm very happy with how smooth this one looks. Like, the transition from black to silver looks really good. So I've also taken a chip out of it, accurate to the Darth Vader's lightsaber, which is basically, when you think about it, it's just Anakin's lightsaber, but upgraded, and with a red blade. So it's got a black tip at the bottom, and it's got a black hilt thing at the top where the blade meets the hilt and I also colored the inside black as well next up we have Obi-Wan's lightsaber from Revenge of the Sith so if you have a look gold rim two black stripes down the bottom where the the actual hilt has those weird stripes around them then we've got the bottom tip paint like colored black as well and it's got like four prongs coming down I didn't color those because that's not accurate to the model all right Next up, we have Anakin's lightsaber from Revenge of the Sith. So this one was interesting to make, so I had to put the black things, like the black lines down the bottom, 
only coloured one of the stripes black and then I had a red dot in the middle and cut a chip out of the top. So yeah, it was, that one was really fun to make. That was actually the first one I made. Anyway, this is Custom Beauty Creations, signing out. Have a fantastic day, everyone. I'll see you all in the next one.